the lames are going to hate on you. As your self-improvement journey starts to rise and you start to become that best version of yourself, you start to slowly boss up on all of the people that you left behind without you even realizing. And due to that, all of the people that you used to know, you know, the computer game nerds who's, who play the game all day, this, that, and the third, they might be hating on you and all sorts of things, bro. The lames start to hate. Because when you level up on these people and you become that ultimate version that you want to be and you start to, sl and they slowly start to see your growth, they start to see you hit the gym and you get bigger. They start to see you take care of your diet and really prioritizing what you got going in your life. They start to see your goals and everything like that. They have no choice but to hate. But I used to play the video games and all sorts of things. I used to be hating on people just for no reason, bro. Just spitting out fucking hatred because I was insecure of who I was at the time. And I didn't want to do what I had to do to level up. Everybody's been through that. And people go through this at different ages of life. There's still people that I'm going to get into on later on to this video that are fucking 25 plus way older than me. I'm 20 that are 25 plus that still play video games all day, still don't take care of themselves, still don't even get haircuts. They smell like shit, bro. These people don't even care about how they are or who, how they look in fucking public, bro. And they have no choice but to see that one confident guy who comes in, who earned his confidence from within. He's walking with his shoulders back. You know, he's confident, he's smiling, he's talking to the people. A lot of people know him around the way. They're dabbing him up and shit like that. And they have no choice but to hate on that. They start to hate you. You can see it through their eyes. They overall can't get to the level that you're at because they don't want to put in that hard work. They don't want to hit the gym for hours a day. They don't want to eat that meal consistently on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't want to put in that work. So they have no choice but to envy you. All the years of the hard work earns this confidence that cannot be sold. It could only be earned. When I walk in the cup, bro, I see everyone look at me. And I'm not saying that to be an arrogant fuck. I'm really not. I say that because I literally feel that I see the people looking at me. I see some women looking at me and they turn it away like quickly, giving me signals, all sorts of shit. I see dudes looking at me and they turn away too, straight up like that. Cause they know when a real dude, when a real G who walks in, they have to look cause they got to see if that's somebody who, who's, who's a threat, bro, real shit. But I walk with such confidence that I just feel good about myself. I'm sure about myself. There's nothing that you can say about me, my appearance, how I dress, whatever the fuck. There's nothing that's going to phase me, bro. That's just what what it comes down to. I earned the confidence. I've been in the gym for years. I've been eating the meals that nobody wants to eat. I've been reading the books. I've been taking care of myself. It shows from the person that you become. Because you can't buy that confidence. You can't buy any of that shit. That shit has to be earned through blood, sweat, and tears with the shit. Earning a physique, you can't buy a physique. You have to earn your confidence. You have to earn everything in life, bro. That girl that you always wanted, you have to earn that. She, you have to give her a reason for her to like you, dude. You got to show that you're that guy, bro. And be confident and not give a fuck about nothing. Do what you do every single day and women going to like that shit. You have to earn a lot of things throughout this life. And a lot of people try to skip over that. They don't want to do nothing with that. So that's why they envy that dude who walks into the spot and gets attention without even trying. I'm going to tell you this right now. I get attention without even trying. I just walk in the cut and they look at me. So let me tell you a quick story real quick, bro. So I'm walking through Walmart, man. Young, confident. You know, that I'm saying young. That was only a year ago, right? But I'm walking through Walmart, bro. You know, I'm always getting looks from a lot of people, but that's just what it was. And I always, even to this day, that's just what it is. But I'm not worried about that. Back then, I was more worried, like a year ago, worried about, oh, where the hoes at, where the bitches, you know, kind of thing. I'm kind of leveled up and bossed up on that where I'm trying to find someone who's, like, really real and, like, connect with them as my girlfriend type shit. But... Every time I walk into the spot, like I said, people are looking at me. A lot of people at Walmart, bro, I, I promise you this right now, they they tell me like, yo, you walk like a model, you look like a model, you shouldn't even be here, right? And you might not think that shit, but the women, they was really saying that shit to me. And I'm just thinking like, cause I'm a confident young dude. I'm like, yeah, I know that, bro. Like I'm that dude. Even back then people told me that, bro. That was when my face was really clear, bro. And like, bro, shit was glowing and all sorts of shit, right? But that's what they told me. This is what they literally told me. Shorty just told me that shit, bro. There was this one guy that I always seen, bro. As I walk into the, the place or like, you know, there was a couple doors to get into where I work at and shit, like the department, right? Every time I looked at that dude, bro, I'm looking at this dude, right? Like he always was looking at me. And I like, I'm the type of guy, like if I walk past you and you staring at me and I, I'm gonna stare at you back, you know? Like I'm not going lose my eye focus or my eye contact with you because like that shows that you're like more submissive you sure like yeah this dude got like one up on me so i'm looking at him as i every fucking day i promise you every time i work there i work there five days a week bro every fucking day i see this dude and you can tell from the eyes that people don't fuck with you like you can if you want to know how somebody feels 
look at them in their eyes and see you you can see that this person doesn't fuck with you you can see that like yo there's something about this dude that he doesn't like me for some reason every single day i done seen this dude he looking at me like he hate me like he he he, he don't like me at all this dude was probably around like 27 years old 28 years old some shit i'm 19 at the time dude is about almost 10 years older than me i bossed up on the dude that much and it's not only him i see a lot of people even throughout the gym a lot of other people they have these eyes about them and it's all about envy like you feel the energy they envy you i was always so confident like i'm not shitting on people i got my homies bro i'm not there to shit on nobody bro i'm working at walmart just like you i'm a slave just like you why the fuck you hating on me because i'm like there was some bitches over there that fuck with me i ain't even fuck with them like that bro like real shit like how the fuck you gonna hate on me for that you know what i'm saying like the bitches are like you know me just feeling like i'm the shit like you lame as fuck bro because i earned that shit these dudes are still playing video games at 26 27 years old 28 years old i don't know how old dude was like bro i don't got no time for that me i don't got no time for that i work to hit the gym and make my youtube videos get to editing writing scripts i got my grind mode bro I'm not like these people. And that's when on self-improvement, you start to level up and boss up on people so much. It's just like, it's just like, bro, they they will hate on you, bro. They really will hate on you. I want y'all to really understand this though, because these lames don't got none of that in their brain. They're going to hate you for this shit. I really want to under, uh, prioritize and really want y'all to understand that, that yeah, you're going to get hate from a lot of people. But those people that hate on you, I promise you this right now, you don't even want to be friends with them. So these people still playing the video games, the people who, who has no ambitions, who got nothing going on with their life, eating like horrible diets and shit like that. You're going to boss up on these dudes and they will hate you. But you won't really, the thing is, I don't even care. I didn't never wanted that dude to be my friend. Now, once I say in my brain, damn, I want this guy to be my friend, right? The only people I generally talk to is like really good, nice people. Even if you like a computer game nerd and shit like that, whatever fuck, I'm still going to talk with you and you know, like have like conversation with you because I'm just not a bad person. I'm not going to just automatically dismiss you. But like the most of the people who I want as my solitary, like down packed friends, bro, I want them to be people in the gym like me. I want, I never, I, you don't meet these people though. I promise you this right now. You don't even meet these people really. I never, after three years of self-improvement, bro, I never met not one of these dudes, bro. Like, like it, it's rare, very rare to find, very rare to find somebody who's goal driven. Very rare to find someone who takes care of their diet. Very rare of someone who takes care of themselves. Very rare of a guy who who hits the gym consistently as much as you. Very fucking rare, bro. Very rare. I want y'all to understand this. So choose the people that you even hang out with selectively and, you know, with a, a thorough mindset. Like, yeah, I want this guy to be my friend because he, he aligns his life to his goals just like how I do. He bosses up in the gym. He'll push me harder in the gym. Those are the people I want. Not these lames who are hating me on the side who's still playing video games. I don't give a fuck about no video game. You understand what I'm saying? Like, at all. I, but I bossed up on that shit. That shit's in the past. I'm good. I'm good. I don't give a fuck about the weed. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I bossed up already, bro. I'll say it one more time. Like I said, like, probably at least 20 times this video. When you boss up and level up, the lames are going to hate on you. Straight up, bro. If you guys like my videos, bro, and like this self-improvement type content, bro, I'm going to be spitting gems, facts, games to you guys throughout almost on the, I wouldn't say a day-to-day -day basis, but like I say three, four times out of the week. So hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave my last video right here so that you guys didn't catch it, bro. This one is straight game here, right here too. If you want to get more women as a short dude, I'm 5'8". I know what I'm talking about. I, I could really tell you about this shit. Click on this video right here and stay yourself, stay 300. Whatever you're doing, like, trust me, I believe in you, bro.